Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. It is that time of year. I'm feeling a little bit run down after the holidays, after consuming a lot more sugar than I typically do. And we just ran out of our last batch of elderberry syrup. So I'm going to be restocking on that today and sharing the process with you. It is super easy to make and a lot more affordable to make at home than what you can find in store. Elderberries are really high in anthocyanins, which are an immunostimulant, and they're also really high in vitamin C. So just a great way to support your immune system. So this process is super simple. To a pot, I'm going to add a cup of dried elderberries. You could use fresh or frozen, and if you did, you would just want to double the amount. So you would want to do two cups of that. Get those added to a pot. along with four cups of water. And you could keep this really, really simple and leave it just at that. Or you can add a cinnamon stick. I'm just adding some of these cinnamon chips. No measurement. And I'm also going to be adding some fresh ginger. You could also add in things like astragalus or rose hips. I've even heard of people adding rose hips for some added vitamin C but I'm going to leave it at this today. I'm using elderberries from here on our property, but I'll link a source to some that I've purchased and liked in the past. So funny story, when we first moved in here, there was a shrub that I initially thought was elderberry. It looked quite similar, but it turned out not to be, and I was bummed out because I'd gotten so excited about it. But it turns out we do have elderberry here, maybe 20 feet away from that one, and it was just hidden on the backside of our old chicken coop where we didn't see a whole lot until we built the pens for the pigs and the meat birds. So these are our elderberries that I dehydrated last year. I'm going to give this a stir and then turn this up to high heat, bring it up to a boil, and once it's begun to boil, I'll turn the heat down to medium, and we're going to let this simmer uncovered. So elderberries should be cooked because they contain cyanogenic compounds, and cooking is going to decrease them. From what I've read, you want to simmer for at least 30 minutes, Toxicity will begin to decrease after 10. And elderberry tinctures are also somewhat popular. I have made one before, but because the berries aren't cooked down, there's some concern about the levels of the cyanogenic compounds. I've read some information saying that after four weeks of letting the tincture steep, they will start to decrease, but I haven't seen anything really concrete on that. So I'm just sticking with the syrup. I'll link more information on all of this in the description box down below. At this point, the elderberry mixture has been simmering for about 30 minutes and it has reduced by about half, so I'm going to get this strained off. Now that the elderberry mixture is strained off, I'm going to allow that to cool to about room temperature before I add in the honey, just to make sure that the heat doesn't kill any of the enzymes or the antioxidants in the honey. The elderberry mixture has cooled now and I reduced it a little bit more than I anticipated. So I've got just under two cups. So I'm going to be adding in equal parts honey. So you do want to measure the elderberry syrup after you have um, cooked it down. So you can make sure that you add enough honey because the honey is going to act as a bit of a preservative. So with this, you also get the immune boosting properties from the raw honey. I'm just going to get this all mixed in really well and careful. This does stain, so try not to make too much of a mess with this.
So that is all there is to it. A super simple process. I ended up with just under a quart of elderberry syrup. This is going to last us a good long while. And as far as dosage goes, I'll just take a couple teaspoons if I'm feeling a little bit run down. Do that for a few days. It always works super well. So if you do give this a try, let me know in the comments down below. As always with these natural remedies, do your own research, make sure it's going to be a good fit for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.